hey welcome back in this video I will start discussing this two occidentalis which I called the Queen it's uh, a tree that I collected um, three years ago and last spring it was transitioned from the recovery box to its first uh, bonsai pot here you can see you can see the roots here the tree is already lifting from the pot the reason to pot it in this manner is because there is a very large root here as you can see that prevented seemed very important at the time of repot and prevented a major shifting angle and that caused me to plant it in a way that creates a a flat um, vertical section of the trunk which I'm not too keen of there is some movement here but it's fairly horizontal so I'm not sure if I will be able to change that uh, in the future I don't want to discuss so much the entire design of this tree but I want to show what's interesting about it uh, a 360 here there is a major branch that comes from the top this way here and this branch is potentially something very important you may not be able to see it readily and I'll show you from another angle all this central section is rotten so all of this part here is dead and rotten and let me show you here in the top here it's rotten the trunk splits in two and then fuses again as a result of it rotting having two live veins so a shari really going all the way through on both sides so it was this was once a whole trunk and and this a shari in the middle the two live veins remained and it rotted all through we have live veins here we have a live here so all the way up to here it's all alive and then this live vein here continues here and upon collection I kill the rest that was here so we have this dead top here we have this that could be part of an apex or we have all this section here that could be part of an apex my current plan for this tree is that the front is somewhere here as you're seeing it in with the negative space between the two feet in the in the pot and my current thought process about the styling is that this is a hollow that will be highlighted this hollow here has to be highlighted this drastic movement here for today I will start carving out all this uh, rotten wood to start to take a look at the hollow that remains I will try to use uh, hand carving tools chisels and, 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 and uh, root cutters and whatever I, I have I don't plan of chewing the wood with power tool but I may have to I don't know and I also plan at the end to remove marks with a power tool with a blunt um, double cut carbide bit
usual, I ran out of battery and didn't notice because I was in the middle of the work. Um, this is the result of today's work, that's as much time as I have. It's very interesting that uh, it's hollow all the way to the roots. If I pour water here, uh, it drains. This is a very old tree and what happens, as I can see from in several areas, is that everything that is not a live vein rots away. So the core rotted, the front rotted where there was no, no um, um, live vein. And here it appears as if these are two different branches that come together, but in fact, this is the live veins that had sufficient time to grow as, as, as a live vein would grow and become round and appear as if they are individual branches that come together but in effect this is just the same um, the trunk that the, the small live vein grew and grew and grew so this is definitely a very ancient tree and I think I highlight this now even more so with the hollows with the holes where there were branches in the past and I removed two little branches that were attached here and were covering this. Now I toyed a little bit with a slight change of angle. So slightly forward a little bit like this. But I am not entirely sure if it is uh, beneficial or not. I think it is, but it doesn't affect much the design. What is interesting about this is that we have uh, we have this big branch in the back here, which I think in the original position most people would try to bend it and bring it here uh, I think that uh, bringing branches from the back to the front is a mistake if I were to make it you know falling into the the common approach of just thinking of where the foliage should be rather than um, thinking of sustainable and and um, and graceful and sensible structure of the tree and so with a slight change of angle forward we raise a little bit the height of, of where this uh, branch uh, uh, comes from stems from the trunk so now it's a actually at the same height as this one um, the more we turn the more it becomes higher but of course it has a dip uh, so this if this is to be the the future apex it would have to be bent up and brought here uh, to the top or stay in the back or simply bend it as a back branch and, and use this as the apex. So I'm not entirely sure yet what the design will be, but the slight change of angle forward, I think makes it more dramatic and um, removes that vertical line. Now it's slightly, uh, has a slight tilt to the left uh, it highlights all the hollows and this may be the, f the proper front so uh, as before it was right in between the two feet now it's uh, slightly tilted and slightly tilted forward this is sufficiently non-drastic that in the next repot can be done very easily it's just a few degrees tilt forward maybe 10 degrees and 
The position of the apex is still something to think about. Whether we'll keep this long branch in the back and bring it in this area and use all the other branches to cover um, regions that are proximal to where they arise to have a sensible primary structure for the tree and um, yeah this might well very well be what I will do probably bring the big branch here down so just twist and bring down here and use all this other foliage here in the front because it stems it arises from the front and this would be the apex um, some peekaboo branches here in that case this would be uh, a design with the highest asymmetry made by these branches here coming here and the apex here so uh, the apex will I think I, I have a choice to make the apex flow in this direction or in that direction uh, so in terms of um, in terms of uh, tension or dynamic design or uh, harmonious design this is something to decide in the future uh, I still have some potential cleaning to do here but this is all the time I have today for this uh, the main thing was to hollow to understand the history of this tree and this is a very old tree that deserves time and consideration for the for the design so I'm happy that I just worked on the deadwood today to clarify what my design will be in the future the potential change of angle um, I cannot estimate how old this tree is but I would say that it's several hundred years because of the roundness of the uh, surviving live veins and the rotting of all the rest. Small recap of, of what was done today. I only used chisel and my my gin plier and, and a hammer and essentially I ripped always with the vein with the with the um, uh, grain of the wood and so it looks quite natural were everywhere um, and in some points you can see here there are genes and you can see the end of the gene where the branch originated in the past and this could be removed this could be removed to leave a hole as there is one here there is one here but here there is a live vein that feeds some branches uh, here and so I'm, uh, I'm a bit concerned about touching it so I hope you learned something I hope you enjoyed um, the beauty of this ancient tree really ancient and we will see how it evolves in the future I will try to style it this year still but further on so until the next one bye bye for now